Hi Booktube, this is Johnny. I thought, as I said, I was going to make another video. I made one this morning, and I said I was going to make one this evening. And it's still the 28th of July. It is 8.27 at night here in West Michigan. It is 81 degrees. And I'm making a video. And what I'm going to do in this video, as I was thinking, it is a Friday. So you could call this Friday Reads. I don't know the last time I did a Friday Reads. Uh, maybe it was last Friday. I don't remember. But I was looking at my diary and trying to see exactly what I have been reading. Now, I mentioned I was reading this this morning, the book of Jeremiah, the Bible and medieval tradition, Joy A. Shrouder, translator and editor. I see I was reading that in the mornings. And I see that I have been reading, re I got this book last year and I, I read it, but I don't think I read the whole thing. I've been reading this by M Merlin Coberly, The Art of Wandering, the writer as a walker. And I also been reading his book, Psychogeography by Merlin Coberly. So I kind of read these in the afternoons. They're kind of, they're not really light and they're not really super heavy. So I've been reading those. I can see that from my diary. And I also, I re start reading last night uh, this novel I mentioned I got in the mail the other day by Paul LaForce, LaFour, Huss, Hussman or the Distinction. Last night I read 43 pages of it, and it, it's okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to be continue reading it, but that's what I read last night. And then I also been reading a book that I. I got used at a thrift store and I didn't show it in one of my thrift store haul videos and it was a, I had left it downstairs in the lower level I was down there but I got this book uh, at a used a thrift shop the other day it's a sideways look at time by Jay Griffins it's a whole it's like essays and meditations on time and uh, I noticed when I Gary Snyder, the uh, Pulitzer Prize winning poet, an exercise indeed in Dharma, poetry, and philosophy. And then on the back it has a quote by Barry Lopez. I did a video a while back on Le Barry Lopez, who's one of my favorite. Uh, he writes books on nature. He writes about this book by Jay Griffins. This is smart, edgy work from original and exciting mind. Jay Griffin's voice is light beam in the fog of 21st century debate. Uh, so I, I was reading this in the late evenings. You can just read a paragraph and go off in some kind of mind trip. And it's all about time and how people look at time throughout history and different cultures and it's just really kind of fascinating. So I was reading that, I can see from my diary. And then I've been reading in the mornings still, Sons in the Sun, The Riches and Reach of Adoption in Christ by David B. Gardner. I've read in this volume 99 pages. So I've been reading that. And I've been reading, uh, let's see what else. Oh, I've been reading also in the morning. I read one morning, Covenant and Commandment, Works, Obedience, and Faithfulness in the Christian Life by Braley G. Green. Also, I read this week uh, some more Samuel Pepp's The Unequal Self, a biography by Clara Pomaine. And also I read this week, uh, these are the collected writings, Shaking LA Collected Writings of Angela Carter. I read this this week, uh, a couple of her short journal, they're like um, biographical sketches of her, her life. 
And I also been re I I've, I've been reading this also. I've been really enjoying the invention of Ar Angela Carter, a biography by Emin Gordon. So those are things I've been reading. Uh, my uh, my wife thinks I have an attention was it ad's attention deficit because I'm always kind of I read and then I go off I read and I go off. I'm a slow reader. That's what I am. I it's like if you read a book like Sideways Look at Time. You read a paragraph and you just have to ponder it for a while. And also, I'm always writing in my diary uh, throughout the day. I'm always uh, reading stuff on the internet. I look at videos and booktube. I, I read book reviews. I l watch lectures on YouTube. And I, uh, I spend a lot of time just meditating, pondering contemplating so yeah I, I so I read kind of slowly and I don't just zoom through books that's probably why I'm not in bookathon I just can't read a book in a day or a week uh, I just go at my own pace so yeah I also read I don't have it here with me a book wars what It Takes to Be Educated in America by James Atlas. I read that this week. I think I showed that. It was a used book I got at the Humane Society. That's where I bought... No, I bought that book at Salvation Army. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I've been reading throughout the week. Today, I didn't really read much. I did go to thrift stores. I found some used books that I'll show in another video. But today, I basically just read the book on Jer the medieval commentary on Jeremiah. <laughs> That's all I read today. Tonight, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. I've been up since 5.45 this morning. And lately at night, when it gets dark, I kind of sit in the sunroom and watch the fireflies and just think about my life, think about my grandkids and my children, think about the world, think about time, think about spiritual things, think about the shortness of life. Uh, we're coming to the end of July. When we go into the month of August, I celebrate my 65th birthday, and it's kind of blows my mind that I've lived this long. Um, so yeah, so I got a lot on my mind. So yeah, that's about it as far as uh, what I've been reading, what's on my mind. I have been really enjoying this book. I, I read this before I went to bed last night. The Art of Wandering, The Writer as a Walker by Merlin Coberly. I was reading the chapter, The Walker and the Natural World. It goes into the Romantic Poets. It goes into Wordsworth and how that he, uh, him and a friend of his, covered more than 350 miles in the first four night of two months, saw Wordsworth and his companion cross Europe at a rate of 30 miles a day through France, Italy, Germany, and Switzerland. An incursion, an incursion through continental Europe that was once again to be recalled in the Prelude, which is a poem by Woodsworth. Man, he walked 30 miles a day. I hardly even walk anywhere in a day. He went 30 miles a day, 350 miles in two months, just traveling all over Europe, walking with a, a friend of his. So yeah, so I've been enjoying all these books. I've been enjoying the biography of Angela Carter. She's a very interesting woman, a writer. Uh, this is, t I'm in the point in her life when she's going through the 60s and she's writing her first novels and trying to, finding her voice. And one thing about, you read biographies of writers, they're always writing. If you're a, if you say you're a writer, you're always writing. You're always submitting something to some magazine, some publisher. 
you're always working on a novel, you're always working on a short story or an essay or a journalistic piece. You're always seeking out other writers. You're going, I mean, she went to school in the University of Bristol and studied medieval literature and she found other writers and she, that's what it means to be a writer. To me, if, you, if I see somebody who says, well, I'm a writer, well, have you written anything? <laughs> have you published anything? Have you sought, have you got any rejection slips? What are you working on? I mean, do, do you keep notebooks? Do you keep, what are you doing? I mean, no, writers, I, the more I read biographies of writers, they're always writing, even when they're in high school or college or even when they were younger, they're always want to be writers and they're writing. So it's kind of interesting seeing in her life this, that same kind of pattern of behavior. She wanted to be a writer, and she, that's what she believed that she was called to do. So I find that interesting. Tomorrow I'm supposed to get uh, Paul LaFere's newest book. I'll show that when it comes in the mail. So that's about it here as far as my Friday reads. Tomorrow's a Saturday. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I went to all the thrift stores this week. I went to a th thrift store this today and found some used books. Tomorrow I got a book coming in the mail. Next month there's a big huge book sale in South Haven, which we go to every year the second week of, week of August. So I'm kind of excited about that. Maybe I'll find some rarity, something I've never seen or have Right now, I'm, I'm always looking for odd things, uh, like um, this book, Sidewise Look at Time, or I'm looking at a book like Psychogeography, or something like that. Uh, I'm not looking, I, not, I collect writers, I collect books on 19th century biography, I collect books on European history, I collect books on New York City in the 50s and 40s, and the 20s and things like that, but I like finding odd things, things that I didn't know existed out there in the book world. So I'm kind of excited about that book sale. I think it's on August the 11th that my wife and I are going. She's off that day, so that's kind of nice. So that's it. Here as far as my Friday reads. Uh, this is what I'm reading. This is what I've been, I have a lot of other books I plan I mean, I have been reading, and not this week, but last week, the biography in Henry David Thoreau, and I've been reading that book. I've been reading all kinds of stuff, but this is the stuff I've been reading the last four or five days. And so I will sign off. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the comments, and hope that you have a good weekend. Until next time, bye.